Web device, I talked to you earlier about the web device. It's like a little cage. That's the ICA bifurcation aneurysm. We deploy the web device here. It's just you go in and you deploy the cage. This is a six months follow up angiogram showing that it's completely gone. This is how it looks like. It's not like coils. The coils you go one after the other. In this case, you go in and just deploy it. It takes five minutes and you're done. The web de device was FDA approved a couple of years ago. And this is uh, from our uh, paper about the web device showing uh, some techniques that you need to oversize the web to be able to make sure that you're plugging the aneurysm. Those are some predictors of, of, of web occlusion. And that's the web device you see before and after complete occlusion. You see here an MCA aneurysm before and after. You see the shadow of the device here on the 3D, same thing. Even large aneurysms like this before and after, completely gone. It's a nice device. You don't need to put the patient on dual antiplatelet therapy for the device because it stays in the aneurysm. You're not placing any stent in the parent vessel. Usually when you place anything in the parent vessel, this is when you need to put the patient on dual antiplatelet therapy. In those cases, you don't need that. A basilar tip aneurysm, same thing here before and after. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.